let's go a little bit more colloquial with some maybe some swear words mm -hmm. yeah some light swear words okay bear in mind that in spain swear words roll off the tongue in typical conversation i'm not sure whether it's like that in mexico we'll find out from jeff but for example a couple of things i mean i've heard the word cojonudo and things like that so not not about food anymore or about food. food only food yeah okay so you can say if you want to be a little bit cheeky well not cheeky more colloquial uh -huh. you can say esta comida está de puta madre okay o esta comida es cojonuda es cojonuda mm -hmm. okay i know you're using it with ser and not esta or you can say esta cojonudamente bien aha okay yeah Okay, so, de puta madre or But de puta cojonuda. madre is more popular. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that a lot. Okay, Jeff, what ways in Mexico have you got to talk about the food in a more informal, slang, colloquial way? Well, first of all, in Mexico we have two kinds of people. There are some that, like me, that don't like to use swear words. And unless they're like really mild swear words, maybe like dumb, tonto, menso or uh, stuff like that and there are some other people who use swear words every sent in every sentence like one or two or even three swear words in each sentence they say so it depends on who, who you are talking to in this case we have <coughs> uh, well first of all the words the expression used in Spain uh, for being things so good this P word in Mexico it's pretty offensive, it's not a mild swear word but a really strong swear word. Like as I said, people who say swear words all the time wouldn't mind. But people who don't like using swear words would get like, oh boy, I don't like that, how it sounds. It's a really strong swear word here in Mexico. Um, we have expressions to mean something is really good or really cool, but we don't use it use them much for food. We could use uh, expressions like "está genial," which is like really cool, or maybe "está de lujo," which means it's completely fancy or something like that. But to mean something is really good. But yeah, to describe food, we even like we don't have much swear words that we would use for this kind of situation. We would say just yes, "está muy buena," "está riquísima," like. Pretty much everyone would say this. Now, right, Cynthia, what about this one? Um, we've got good food, but what happens if the food's not good? How you don't would... say anything. <laughs> <laughs> just, just eat it, just eat it. <laughs> and go. And go, yeah. <laughs> As if that was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so would you complain, though, if your food wasn't very nice? Where are you? Are you at a restaurant? In a restaurant, yeah. In a restaurant. What we'll do is we'll do two things. What you would say in the restaurant and then what you would say when you left the restaurant. Oh my God, the completely different scenarios. Absolutely, then. yeah. At the rest, in the restaurant, I would say, eh, perdone, a esta comida le falta un poquito de sal. O, perdone, está fría. Perdone, eh, es que no me gusta, lo siento. ¿Me puede traer otra cosa? Okay. Something like that. So, me puede traer otra cosa. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Jeff, in the restaurant, Mexico, what would you say? Few problems. Give us some examples. Uh, same thing. Most of the time, we wouldn't complain. We just like finish it and don't go back ever to that place. Uh, we could say maybe, like, if you want to be like really uh, strong about it, we might just not eat it. Like, just leave it like there. Thank you, and then we would leave, or maybe pay it and leave. Or we could say, like, if there's something wrong. Uh, in the food, we would say, Disculpe, la comida tiene algo. Le cayó una mosca a la comida. Oiga, sabe medio rancio. Por favor, cambiemelo. Uh, cambiemelo means would, like, change it for me. Like, give me a, a new dish or this. Uh, but most of the time, we wouldn't complain. Most of the time, we would just leave and wouldn't ever go back to that place. Okay, Cynthia. Then you leave the restaurant, you're with your family. What are you going to say? Jamás vuelvo a esa mierda de restaurante. <laughs> no, no, no. It depends. It depends if, they, if they're nasty about it. Then probably... Let's say, let's say you didn't get satisfaction. Well, then I would say, 
no vuelvo a ese restaurante más. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and if you were going to make a comment on the flavor of the food or something like that, how would you talk about the food? I would say, mi, mi sopa estaba muy sosa, le faltaba sal, no me ha gustado nada. Uh -huh. And would you say perhaps, una mierda de comida? The word mierda would probably be in one of the sentences that we would say. Somebody would say mierda at some point. Okay, Jeff, you leave the restaurant, you're not satisfied. What are you going to say to your friends, family? Okay, we would say a lot, a lot of things. First, the word mierda in Mexico is one. It's not very common to be used. We don't use it very often. And uh, it's pretty offensive here. Like, it is really offensive. So when we want to use a mild expression, we would say basura, like trash. When food is not good, we would say estaba pal perro, which is a short form of estaba para el perro. It was like for the dog. Like it was so bad that it should be food for the dog. <laughs> um, we could say estaba malísima la comida. It, the food was really bad. Uh, we could also say que asquerosa comida. Like how disgusting was the food? Something that. Uh, the word asqueroso would be used pretty often. Also, horrible. Estaba horrible la comida. Uh, it was horrible. Food was horrible. So, horrible is a word that I use a lot. Uh, I would say used to describe those things. Um, uh, a mild swearing that we could say to say something was bad. Like, we use like word like meaning darn, it's maldito. It's not, it's like a mild swear word. We say, I say, Maldito restaurante estaba asqueroso. That uh, darn restaurant was disgusting. Um, we could say also, No me vuelvo a parar en ese restaurante. I will never stand up again in that restaurant. Uh, so, oh, pararse in Mexican Spanish means to stand, to be like standing up. So that means I will never stand up again there. I will never be back to that restaurant. Or no vuelvo a ir a ese restaurante. I will never go back to that restaurant. Or some kind of things we could say. Some people would even say also, estaba del nabo. <laughs> Literally means it was like for the radish or something like that. And it means that it was really bad. It's just colloquial. It's not offensive or anything. It's just like. But some people don't like this expression, but it's just because it might sound a bit naco. Maybe just that. It sounds a bit uh, rubbish, I would say. So, Cynthia, another uh, little thing. Um, in English, we have an expression which is uh, good value for money. Good value for money. In Spain, what, what's, what's that expression? Hmm. Uh, it's a. Bueno, las tres veces. Bueno, bonito y barato. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but there is an expression, isn't it? Um, ah, calidad precio. Calidad precio. How how does that expression go from the start? It's, uh, una buena calidad precio. Una buena calidad precio. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Jeff, what expression do you have there to say good value for money? Well, for example, if something like we will have also the three B's thing, bueno, bonito y barato. But we would also say, like for example, a uh, place was really expensive, but the food was so good. We would say, la verdad si lo vale, like uh, really, it's worth it. Uh, just to mean that even if it's pricey, anyway, uh, it's it's worth it. Like pay for for that good food. And if if the food really wasn't good value, oh my gosh. it really wasn't good value for money. <laughs> what would you say? Uh, I wouldn't go there to eat. Yeah, but it, afterwards, if you you know you got the bill and you just thought, well, that really wasn't good value. Uh, well, I would say, esto es carísimo. Esto es Nunca carísimo. más voy a comer aquí. <laughs> este <laughs> restaurante es una mierda. <laughs> so este restaurante there. es muy caro y nunca más voy a comer aquí. Yeah. Um, la comida no estaba tan buena por el precio. Eso, okay, okay. And Jeff, how would you say that? In Mexico, I think I think we have a, a more close expression, which is the opposite of what I said before. We would say no lo vale, 
la verdad ese restaurante no lo vale like it's not worth it that restaurant is not worth it or something that we could use in past tense because no lo vale we all, all, most of the time use it in present tense but to say it in past tense we would all say no valió la pena which literally means it wasn't worth the pain but it's, it means it, that it didn't worth it like, uh, no, no vale la pena no it's like it, it isn't worth it so don't do it or no no vale la pena la verdad no valió la pena estaba muy caro no estaba bueno el servicio era malísimo uh, la verdad no lo vale That's what we would say.